Hi, I'm Ty. Thanks for being with us today. Now feel free to pause the video at any time and follow along with your own aircraft. Today, we'll be going over the pre-flight checklist for the Phantom 3 Advanced or the Phantom 3 Professional before your first flight. As we explained in the unboxing video, the only difference between the advanced version and the professional version is the camera. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the Phantom 3 Professional. Now we highly recommend that you go through a checklist like this for any aircraft. Safety is an essential part of flying, and let's all do our part to keep us in the air. First, let's check the aircraft for any physical damage from a previous flight or damage during transportation. Now once you've done that, let's check the items necessary for a day of flying. You should have your aircraft, four propellers, two with black indicators and two with silver indicators, the remote controller, an intelligent flight battery, a micro SD card if you plan on taking photos and videos, a lanyard if you prefer to hang your remote from your neck, and a mobile device. You have all these items? Great. Let's continue. Now, let's do a battery check to make sure everything is charged. Let's check our intelligent flight battery by pressing the power button once. Now, let's press the power button on the remote controller to check those battery levels. Now check your mobile device and make sure you have enough battery for a full day of flying. If you're using your device for cellular usage, we recommend a backup battery to recharge your device in case you're traveling to a remote location. And make sure to download the DJI Pilot app from either the App Store or Google Play well in advance where Wi-Fi is available. And check to make sure it launches on your device. Now before we do our electronics test, let's get the aircraft physically ready to fly. Let's now remove the warning labels from the motors. These are here for your protection and you won't be needing them after you read the disclaimer. You can also now remove the gimbal clamp. Now to check the electronics, let's install the mobile device onto the remote controller. Connect your USB cable and turn the remote on by pushing the power button once, pushing again, and holding. Once, again and holding. And it's on. All right, let's turn on the aircraft by pushing the power button once, pushing again, and holding. When the aircraft turns on, the rear LEDs will begin cycling through flashes of red, green, and yellow. This indicates the aircraft is doing a self-check. The gimbal and camera will also do a self-check and turn in each direction before self-stabilizing. The aircraft will then go into warm-up mode and will flash a slow yellow. All right. Let's now launch the mobile app to make sure there is a picture. Now let's test and learn how to start and stop the motors with the propellers off. The remote controller uses a CSC, or combination stick command, to start and stop the motors. So to start the motors, Pull both sticks down and in, just like this. This is commonly known as arming the motors. Once the motors have spun up, they will idle. Make sure the motors are spinning smoothly and there are no irregular sounds. 
If you hear any abnormal noises, shut down the motors and take your Phantom 3 to your nearest repair center. Okay, our motor test is now complete. Stop the motors by pulling the throttle or left stick down for more than three seconds, like this. Now let's turn off all of our electronics before installing the propellers, starting with the aircraft. Press the power button once, again and hold. Now the remote controller. Pressing the power button once, again and hold. And it's off. Now the first thing we want to do is check the propellers for any damage before installing them. Scratched or damaged propellers may be out of balance and your Phantom 3 may not perform at peak efficiency. If they are damaged, make sure to replace them with a fresh set. Now, let me explain the basics of how the motors spin. The Phantom 3 is an X4 configuration as there are four motors and they are in an X formation. For quadcopters such as the Phantom 3, the motors spin inward when they are facing forwards and backwards. The front right motor is motor 1. It spins in a counterclockwise direction. Notice it has a silver indicator. Let's match the propeller with the silver indicator to the motor with the silver threading. Now, spin the propeller clockwise and tighten by hand or use your propeller wrench. And tighten. All right, on to motor two, which spins in a clockwise direction. Let's match the propeller with the black indicator to the motor with the black threading. Now, spin the propeller counterclockwise and tighten by hand or with your propeller wrench. And tighten. On to motor three, the rear left motor which spins in a counterclockwise direction. Let's match the propeller with the silver indicator to the silver threaded motor. Now, spin the propeller clockwise and tighten by hand or use your propeller wrench. And tight. And finally, the rear right motor, motor number four, which spins in a clockwise direction. Let's match the propeller with the black indicator to the black threaded motor. Now spin the propeller counterclockwise and tighten by hand or with your propeller wrench. And it's tight. Now for safety reasons, you can't install a black indicated propeller onto a silver threaded motor. Also, as the installation is in the opposite direction, it means that the propeller will tighten itself as the motor spins up. DJI has installed this extra safety feature so that you can fly worry-free with the knowledge that your propellers are secure. All right, we've now gone through our pre-flight checklist. In our next video, we'll learn how to fly. Thanks for watching.